think that we might just be a simulation of something else. I wish I had a good argument against that, and I do not. What if the universe is an almost simulation? That's possible. Let's take a moment to consider the role of consciousness in our exploration of what lies beyond the universe. Could our minds hold the key to unlocking these cosmic mysteries? Some theories suggest that consciousness itself may be a fundamental aspect of the universe, intertwined with the fabric of reality. This idea, known as PNPSYSM, posits that all matter has a form of consciousness, from the tiniest particles to the largest galaxies. If true, it could mean that the universe is not just a physical entity but a conscious one, with each of us playing a vital role in its grand narrative. Another intriguing concept is the simulation hypothesis, which suggests that our entire universe could be an artificial construct, a sophisticated simulation created by an advanced civilization. If we are living in a simulation, what lies beyond its boundaries? Who are the architects of this cosmic program, and what is their purpose? Exploring this idea challenges our perception of reality and opens up possibilities that are both mind-bending and profound. The search for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI, also adds a compelling dimension to our quest. As we scan the skies for signals from distant civilizations, we must ponder what kind of beings might exist beyond our universe. Would they be similar to us? Or would they possess forms and technologies beyond our comprehension? The discovery of intelligent life beyond our universe would not only answer the age OLD question of whether we are alone, but also provide insights into the nature of existence itself. Moreover, the concept of cosmic consciousness suggests that the universe itself may be aware and evolving. This idea aligns with the notion of a collective consciousness that connects all living beings, transcending time and space. If the universe is indeed a conscious entity, then our exploration of what lies beyond takes on a deeper, more spiritual significance. Consider also the potential of artificial intelligence, AI, in our quest. Advanced AI systems could assist us in analyzing vast amounts of data, making discoveries that elude human perception, and even simulating conditions beyond our universe. As AI continues to evolve, it may become a crucial partner in our exploration. As we discuss AI and space, let's delve deeper into the lesser-known aspects of space. Rogue planets, also known as interstellar planets or orphan planets, are celestial wanderers adrift in the vastness of space, untethered to any star. Unlike traditional planets that orbit stars like our Sun, these cosmic nomads roam alone through the darkness of interstellar space. These planets can form in various ways. One possible origin is within a planetary system where gravitational interactions with larger planets or stars eject them from their orbits. Another theory suggests they could form independently from molecular clouds, the same birthplaces of stars, but fail to become gravitationally bound to any star. Rogue planets come in a variety of sizes, from smaller rocky worlds to gas giants many times the size of Jupiter. Their atmospheres, if present, could be rich in exotic compounds, influenced by their solitary journey through space without the steady heat and light. The diamond rain refers to a remarkable phenomenon hypothesized to occur in the atmospheres of certain giant planets in our solar system, such as Jupiter and Saturn, as well as in exoplanets beyond. These planets possess extreme atmospheric conditions, including high pressure and temperature, which create an environment conducive to the formation of diamonds. In these planets' atmospheres, methane and other hydrocarbons are abundant. Under the immense pressures found deep within the atmosphere, equivalent to millions of Earth's atmospheres, the carbon atoms from these hydrocarbons are compressed and undergo transformations. This compression, combined with the heat generated by the planet's interior, causes the carbon atoms to rearrange into crystalline structures, forming tiny diamonds. These diamonds are believed to precipitate down through the planet's atmosphere, gradually falling toward the core. The process of diamond rain represents a fascinating intersection of planetary science and materials physics, offering insights into the exotic and extreme conditions found in the atmospheres of giant planets. The study of the diamond rain not only expands our understanding of planetary processes, but also prompts intriguing questions about the distribution and formation of diamonds throughout the universe. 
It highlights the diversity of environments within our own solar system and underscores the potential for discovering similar phenomena on distant exoplanets. Frozen water on the moon represents a significant discovery in our exploration of Earth's celestial companion. For decades, scientists suspected the presence of water ice in the permanently shadowed regions of the moon, where temperatures can plummet to minus 250 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 157 degrees Celsius. Recent missions and observations, including those from NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, LRO, and India's Chandrayaan-1 spacecraft, have confirmed the existence of water ice on the moon's surface. This ice is believed to be preserved in permanently shadowed craters at the lunar poles, shielded from the sun's intense heat and radiation. The discovery of frozen water on the moon opens up exciting possibilities for future lunar exploration and colonization efforts. Water is a critical resource for sustaining human life and supporting space missions. It can be used for drinking, growing plants, and breaking down into oxygen and hydrogen for rocket fuel. Moreover, the presence of water on the moon raises intriguing questions about its origin and distribution across the solar system. Scientists speculate that the water could have been delivered by comets, asteroids, or even produced locally through chemical reactions on the lunar surface. Exploring and extracting water from the moon could also serve as a stepping stone for deeper space exploration, enabling longer duration missions to Mars and beyond. It reduces the need to transport water from Earth, making space travel more sustainable and cost-effective. As we continue to study frozen water on the moon, we're not only unraveling the mysteries of our celestial neighbor, but also paving the way for future generations of explorers to venture farther into the cosmos. The cold welding effect, also referred to as cold welding or contact welding, is a fascinating process that occurs under certain conditions in the vacuum of space or in ultra-high vacuum environments on Earth. It occurs when two clean metal surfaces come into contact with each other in the absence of any atmosphere or intervening material. In typical conditions on Earth, metals that come into contact are separated by thin layers of oxide, lubricants, or other contaminants that prevent them from bonding together. However, in the vacuum of space or in ultra-high vacuum chambers, these surface layers are absent. When two metal surfaces touch under such conditions, their atoms can diffuse into each. The impossible cloud is a puzzling astronomical phenomenon observed within the Orion Nebula, one of the most studied and photographed regions in the night sky. This cloud has earned its nickname due to its unusual characteristics that challenge conventional understanding. Located approximately 1,500 light years away from Earth, in the constellation of Orion, the Orion Nebula is a stellar nursery where new stars are born from collapsing gas and dust. Amidst this dynamic environment, the impossible cloud stands out for its unexpected features. What makes this cloud remarkable is its apparent defiance of gravitational collapse. In star-forming regions like the Orion Nebula, gas clouds typically collapse under their own gravity to form new stars. However, the impossible cloud appears to be stable and resistant to this process, remaining intact despite being surrounded by regions conducive to star formation. Scientists speculate that the impossible cloud may be held together by magnetic fields or shock waves from nearby stars, preventing it from collapsing. Alternatively, it could be in a state of equilibrium where internal forces balance the pull of gravity, maintaining its shape over long periods. Studying the impossible cloud provides valuable insights into the complex dynamics of star formation and the interplay between gravity, magnetic fields, and other physical forces within interstellar clouds. It challenges our understanding of how stars and planetary systems evolve in diverse environments across the universe. As astronomers continue to observe and analyze the Orion Nebula and its enigmatic cloud, they hope to unravel the secrets behind its persistence and uncover new clues about the formation and evolution of stellar systems. Time dilation is a fascinating phenomenon predicted by Albert Einstein's theory of relativity, which fundamentally alters our understanding of time and space under extreme conditions such as high velocities or strong gravitational fields. According to Einstein's theory, Time is not absolute, but rather relative to the observer's frame of reference. There are two main types of time dilation. Velocity time dilation. This occurs due to the effects of special relativity. 
When an object moves at a significant fraction of the speed of light relative to an observer, time slows down for that object relative to the observer's clock. This means that a clock moving quickly relative to an observer will tick slower compared to a clock that is stationary relative to the observer. Gravitational time dilation. This occurs due to the effects of general relativity. In regions of strong gravitational fields, such as near massive objects like stars or black holes, time also slows down. Clocks closer to the gravitational source tick more slowly compared to clocks farther away. Studying time dilation provides insights into the nature of space-time and the curvature of the universe. It has practical implications for GPS satellites and other high-precision technologies that must account for relativistic effects. Understanding these concepts allows us to grasp the profound implications of relativity on our perception of time and the cosmos. Absolutely, let's emphasize the key points about the coldest natural place in the universe. The coldest natural place in the universe refers to the frigid environments found in deep space, where temperatures can drop to incredibly low levels due to the absence of nearby stars and the vacuum of interstellar space. One of the coldest known places in the universe is the Boomerang Nebula, located approximately 5,000 light-years away in the constellation Centaurus. This nebula holds the record for the coldest natural place, with temperatures plunging to just a fraction above absolute zero. The extreme cold in the Boomerang Nebula is due to the expansion of gas ejected by a dying star, creating a region where molecules are frozen and conditions resemble those found in laboratory vacuums on Earth. Studying such environments provides insights into the extremes of physics and the nature of matter in the universe. Magnetars are a type of neutron star, which is the dense remnant left behind after a massive star undergoes a supernova explosion. What sets magnetars apart is their extraordinarily strong magnetic fields, the strongest known in the universe. These magnetic fields are so intense that they can be billions of times stronger than those of typical neutron stars and trillions of times stronger than Earth's magnetic field. The magnetic field of a magnetar is so powerful that it can alter the properties of the vacuum of space itself, affecting the behavior of particles near the star. Magnetars are characterized by their rapid and irregular rotation, often spinning several times pr second. They also exhibit occasional flares of X-rays and gamma rays, which are thought to be caused by the reconfiguration of their magnetic fields. These flares can release as much energy in a few seconds as the sun emits in millions of years. The intense magnetic fields of magnetars are believed to be generated by processes involving the neutron star's rapid rotation and the presence of exotic matter such as hyperonic or quark matter within their cores. Studying magnetars provides valuable insights into the extreme conditions of matter under the influence of intense gravity and magnetic fields. They are also of great interest in astrophysics for understanding the dynamics of neutron stars and the behaviors of matter in the most extreme environments in the universe. As we discuss AI and space, let's delve deeper into the lesser-known aspects of space.